ஹாய் குட் மார்னிங் வெல்கம் டு டுடேஸ் டாபிக் இன் ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் வி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் எலக்ட்ரோ ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் சார்ஜ் கண்டக்டர் இன்ஸ்லேட்டர் கூலும் லா ஃபார் எலக்ட்ரோ ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஃபீல்ட் எலக்ட்ரிக் ஃபீல்ட் லைன்ஸ் திஸ் ஆல் ஆர் வி டிஸ்கஸ் இன் ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் அண்ட் ஒன்ஸ் அகேன் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஷார்ட் யூ the previous session topics so here electrostatics is nothing but subject or science which is going to be deal or which is dealing about rest charges or stationary charges here charge also a particular property of an object and we also discuss about conductor and insulator so conductor is nothing but an object which carries electrical charge is nothing but <laughs> conductor example all the metal insulator an object which does not carry electric charge is called insulator example rubber wood and plastic we also discussed about electric field a field which is influenced by electrostatic charges or electrostatic forces is nothing but electric field so we also discussed coulomb law as per coulomb law the force of attraction is directly proportional to product of charges and the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance we discussed these all are in previous session and today i am going to talk about electric flux what is electric flux let's see the figure it is a certain area through the certain area some lines are passing what lines we are going to talk about electric flux so these lines are nothing but electrical lines what is electric line electric line is nothing but the lines which are generated in electric field it is an imaginary concept so in originality we cannot see the electrical lines why because electric field is line electric field line is imaginary concept so we cannot see electric field lines so here what is the definition <laughs> the rate flow of the electric field through a given area electric field means electric field line through a given area is called electric flux we also know that electric flux is proportional to number of electric field lines if more electric field lines are passing then flux is more if less electric field lines are passing then the flux is less so here we simply consider as the rate of flow of the electric field lines through a given area is electric flux see the figure once again through the certain area some of the electric field lines are passing this can be considered as electric flux we can also have similarly we can also have magnetic flux that we can discuss later now the thing is that what is the nature of electric flux in uniform field and non uniform field in a uniform field the surface is same means there is no change in surface so here in a uniform field the electric field consider sorry the electric flux is considered as phi e e stands for electric phi phi e equal to e dot s where e dot s equal to e s cos theta where cos theta is an angle between electric field lines electric field lines and s is surface e is magnitude of electric field the units of electric field is volt per meter same electric flux in non uniform field in a non uniform field the surface changing it may be increasing it may be decreasing or it may be bump or amps anything can be happen in a surface so that is called 
non uniform surface not similar way not similar nature so in this condition the surface is changing hence the flux also will be changing that's why it will be considered as d phi e equal to e dot ds so this is about the non uniform similarly the next topic about electric field intensity so what is electric field intensity so let us consider a particular charge of area to a charge of area a unit po a unit positive charge is we taken a unit positive charge we taken this unit positive charge is affected by the force because of this unit positive force is affected our force shows some experience the force shows some experience this due to this unit charge once again the force shows some experience due to this unit positive charge that is called electric field intensity see the definition the force experienced by a unit positive charge placed at that point is called electric field intensity it is a vector quantity it is denoted by e the formula of electric field is f by q naught at the units of electric field is newton per coulomb or volt per meter so what is the nature of electric field due to a point charge q due to a point charge q so because of a charge q the electric field can be considered as e equal to k into q by r square why we got this particular sentence why because as per coulomb law the force is directly proportional to so the force equal to force f equal to k into q by q naught by r square where q and q naught are the charges r is a separation distance between q and q naught therefore here yeah, this f value is submitting in this particular formula of electric field then q naught will be cancelled out then e equal to k into q by r square this is the figure of electric field intensity it's a ratio between force and charge and next thing electric potential here what is electric potential a charge we consider we charge a unit positive charge this unit positive charge is bringing from or the unit positive charge moves from infinity region to finite region or unknown region to known region to do this task we need to do some work so here the work done to move a charge from infinity to a finite position in a electric field in a electric field to move a charge from fi infinite region to finite region so whatever work we are doing that work is nothing but electric potential so it is a scalar quantity the units are volts so the formula is v equal to k into q by r where v is the potential k is the coulomb constant r is the distance separation let us consider surface there are two surfaces one is the open the other one is the closed one so what is open surface open surface is bounded by an edge see the figure so a surface which is bounded by an edge that surface is called open surface example disc a sheet of paper see the sheet of paper it, sh it is shows some open edges then it is nothing but open surface it is bounded by an edge then it is open surface closed surface a surface without any edges that surface is called closed surface but the closed surface will contain inside and outside part see when you take a balloon or any ball it is having 
inside pod as well as outside pod example spherical balloon box cylindrical can gas law according to the gas law the total flux linked with a enclosed with a closed surface is 1 by epsilon times to the charge enclosed by the closed surface so here we are going to consider a closed surface in a closed surface the total electric flux is equal to 1 by epsilon times to a enclosed charge whatever charge is there to this particular charge it is 1 by epsilon naught times so here integral a dot d is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into q where e is the electric field e is the surface epsilon is nothing but epsilon naught is nothing but permittivity of free space the value already we discussed in the last day so here in other form we can also discuss where e dot ds is nothing but phi that's nothing but flux so flux phi equal to q by epsilon naught that means the electric flux is directly proportional to charge enclosed charge this is also one of the definition so here the flux is equal to 1 by epsilon times 2 enclosed charge or the flux is directly proportional to applied charge so see the figure so this is about the gas in surface where is the field q is the charge ds is the surface so this is about the gas law